Useful tools for Booker millinery. Types of head forms. What you're looking at now is a couple of styrofoam heads. The one on the left is a styrofoam head that I tend to keep wigs on primarily. And the one on the right has a spandex sleeve that goes over it to make it a display head. So if you take this off, it's just a plain white styrofoam head. And what it's on there, this thing with the peg, is called a spinner. So you can put not only this styrofoam head on it, but also a canvas block. Sometimes this is also called a dolly head. You'll notice that the head size measurement of this is written on the base of the block. These sometimes will migrate down into the dressing rooms or the wardrobe because our wig masters tend to use them to store and style wigs on. This lady is a display head. It's a reproduction of a 1920s model. Thimbles and pliers. This is my own personal collection of thimbles. I actually have a lot more than this, but some of them are just duplicates. This is a coin thimble with a leather sleeve, metal and leather. That's a plastic one, a metal one. This one I think is paper mache inside of there. This one you can buy several of them at Joann's. It's intended to protect the middle of your finger instead of the tip. And then this leather thimble you can also get at Joann's and it's just a little bit more dexterous to work with. You will need a thimble to push needles through some of the harder material. These are needle nose pliers. These are not quite the best for millinery. You, you want to have a needle nose plier. Ideally, it would also have a wire cutter here because you need these to, to shape the ends of your wires for uh, buckram hats and to, the wire cutter helps because you can also then cut with it. If you have a style like this that doesn't have wire cutters, then you also would need a pair of wire cutters to be able to trim your wire down to the sizes that you need. Types of needles. You need some unusual needles to work with millinery materials and the shapes that you wind up creating. Um, Specific needles for milliners, They're, it'll say on the package, milliners needles are longer. And this one is actually my favorite because I actually like when they, when they get a little bit bent, I actually like that because it gives me better leverage for some of the stitches. And then this here is a curved needle, which allows you to direct something in and then back out when the material that you're sewing through is really rigid and you can't count on the material to bend enough for you to get your needle back out of it. This is really helpful in sewing buckram hats, especially when sewing the tip to the side band. Setting the brim onto the side band, this thing is really helpful. Types of pins and clips. You'll want to use quilt pins instead of regular pins when you're working on hats. They have that yellow ball on the end and it helps you find it in like there's a bunch of flowers and you know there's a pin holding it on. You, the yellow head helps you find it again. You might also want some T-pins. T-pins are really good for holding things onto canvas hat blocks. So. You can pin into these, they're full of cork. And so like if you wanna position your fascinator on there at an angle, that T-pin will help you. You probably also want to acquire some of your own alligator clips. These are sold in the electric section at a hardware store. They're kind of expensive, so you wanna look around for something that is like this at uh, Dollar General and stuff. Anytime I find them at a discount store, I'll buy more and they are used to help you clip your wire onto your buckram before you attach it to make sure that you've got it in the right length, that it's molded in the right shape. I've had some grad students who found other types of small clips like this that weren't alligator clips, they were plastic versions, and those are fine to use too. I prefer the alligator clips because they're more durable and I'm making millinery as part of my career. But if you're just planning to learn how to make hats for this but not really make a whole bunch of them in your life, 
maybe you don't want to invest in alligator clips. Maybe you find something that's little plastic clips that is better. All right, that concludes my survey of useful equipment and materials and tools that you might want to obtain. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, and join me for my Thursday Open Studio stream.